Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's tropical update. So we are going to be discussing a monster super typhoon that is bearing down on the northern Philippines. Looking at Super Typhoon Dokshuri, also known as Super Typhoon Ige, uh, this is this monster is currently a 150 mile power super typhoon that is approaching the northeastern Philippines. And looking at the latest Zoom Earth satellite imagery and forecasted cone. By July 25th, 1 a.m. Central American Time, we are looking at a 155 mile per hour super typhoon approaching the northeastern Philippines. So Ige is not yet done strengthening. As we go into Tuesday, 1 p.m. Central American Time, we're looking at a 145 mile per hour violent typhoon moving through the islands of the northern Philippines. By, by Wednesday, 1 a.m. Central American Time, a 130 mile per hour very strong typhoon just to the northwest of the islands of the northern Philippines. By Wednesday 1 p.m., a 120 mile per hour very strong typhoon to the southwest of Taiwan. Going into Thursday 1 p.m. Central American time, an 80 mile per hour typhoon approaching southeastern China between Jiang and Guangzhou. Going into Friday 1 p.m., a 50 mile per hour post tropical cyclone moving into southeastern China. And then by Saturday 1 p.m., we could be seeing a 35 mile per hour post tropical low moving near Wuhan, China. So, looking at the latest satellite imagery of Super Typhoon Ige, Super Typhoon Ige is an absolute monster on visible satellite. It has the classic pinwheel buzzsaw shape that we see to these very intense uh, tropical cyclones. We are seeing a very massive, large, expansive cloud shield on all sides of the storm, especially on the northeastern quadrant. We're seeing tons of rain bands uh, across the uh, northern half of the storm. We're already seeing rain bands across the northern Philippines and across the islands. We're seeing a well-defined eye and a solid eye wall of solid convection around the center of Ige. So this is an absolute monster of a typhoon that is bearing down on the northern Philippines. This is going to bring wind gusts between 100 and 150 miles per hour. We're going to be seeing uh, rain probably between 12 and 24 inches. And we're, we're going to be seeing storm surge of probably at least 10 feet. So make sure that if you haven't evacuated already, uh, you uh, evacuate or ride the storm out in an extremely sturdy building because this is going to be a classic monster typhoon and it's going to be creating a lot of destruction as it moves through the northern Philippines over the next 24 to 36 hours. So I'm going to be actually timing out some of these wind speeds in this next part of the video by 6 hour increments to get an idea of just how strong these wind gusts are going to be. So looking at the icon model through Zoom Earth. So as of this evening already, we are seeing we are already seeing winds uh, between 40 and 60 miles per hour across the northeastern Philippines and islands. And then as we go into midnight Central American time, we're going to start seeing winds gusting over 75 miles per hour across the northeastern Philippines and the islands. As we go into uh, 6 a.m. Uh, Central American time on July 25th, winds between 75 and 100 miles per hour across the northern mainland Philippines and across the islands, winds could be gusting up to 120 miles per hour. As we go into uh, 12 p.m. on July 25th Central American time, as Ige moves over the northern islands of the Philippines, we're going to be seeing winds gusting to at least 120 miles per hour across the islands and the northern Philippines between 90 and 120 miles per hour. But we could be seeing winds gusting as high as 150 to 160 miles per hour from this beast. Going into um, 6 p.m. on July 25th Central American time, winds continue to gust over hurricane force across the northern Philippines and the islands. And then these hurricane force winds are going to continue all the way into July 26th um, 
across the northern Philippines and even across southeast China and Taiwan, tropical storm to hurricane force wind gusts could already be occurring as early as July 25th and 6th due to the very large and expansive wind field from Super Typhoon Ige. As we go into uh, 6 a.m. July 26th, uh, tropical storm force winds continuing across Taiwan, China, and hurricane force winds continuing across the northern Philippines. And then as we go into around noon, July 26th, Central American time, much of the same. And then we can see the hurricane force winds finally exit the Philippines by 4 p.m. Central American time, July 26th. And then as we go into finally July 27th, the uh, Taiwan and Southeast China are going to continue to see those tropical storm force winds. And then by July 27th, we're going to be seeing the main core of uh, hurricane force winds approaching China and impacting Taiwan from the southeast. Now we're going to be looking at the uh, rainfall. We're going to be timing out the rainfall from Ige across the Philippines, Taiwan, southeastern China. Going to go all the way back to the present, which is 8 p.m. Uh, Central American time on July the 24th. So as of this evening, we're already seeing a moderate to heavy rain moving across the northeastern Philippines and the islands. And as we go forward through the next several hours, the rainfall is going to uh, increase. The rainfall intensity is going to rapidly increase across the northern Philippines. And then as we go into July 25th, extremely heavy flooding rains across the northern Philippines and the islands. Across As we go into uh, noon and the afternoon, July 25th, very heavy rain continuing across the northern Philippines, moving into eastern Taiwan. And then as we go into noon, July or midnight, July 26th, very heavy rain across eastern Taiwan, the northern Philippines. The rain's going to exit. And then as we go into um, midday, July 26th, Central American time, heavy rain on the eastern side and southeastern side of Taiwan. And then this heavy rain is going to continue across Taiwan, flooding issues through uh, much of the day. And then as we go into July 27th, we're going to see that core of extremely heavy rain approach southeastern China. So if you live in the Philippines, make sure you're preparing now for extremely heavy rain, uh, uh, devastating storm surge, and destructive wind gusts, as we are going to be seeing the full-on effects of a super typhoon across the northern Philippines. Uh, thanks for watching this evening's update. Uh, please stay safe. Have a wonderful evening, my friends.